everybody in this tournament is trying to play get to the NCAA tournament and to win a championship. And uh, uh, that's we're no different than anybody else. And uh, but our goal is to continue trying to prove ourselves to so we can play next week. It's important against Virginia. I think, uh, and we shoot the three ball very well, but there's no question. I think that they have, I think, the four guys out there all can shoot it. And uh, uh, they execute very well. You just got to know where the shooters are at. You got to have great closeouts. Is patience a word that you have in your scouting report with you guys for Yeah, you can't take quick shots against Virginia because they're going to work, they're going to work clock and they're going to be patient. Uh, we we, we got to take good shots. Uh, I don't want us to shoot quick unless we have uh, transition buckets, but they, they do a good job getting back. Tournament basketball, there's so many games that come right down to the wire. You played eight games in a row that were decided in the final possession. I just wonder, do you feel like this team is tested in a way that maybe others aren't having been in so many close games? I think we, you know, I think that's a good question. I think that there's no, no doubt in my mind. I thought I saw progress in that department because we had played so many ball games that have come down the last possession. Nine total in league play, eight in a row. Uh, I saw us be better in late game, and all of us be better. And I include myself too. I think I, the coaches are included in that. And our improvement as a coach uh, in, the, in, in those situations because you, you know more about your team and, uh, and and them being able to execute. So um, uh, we saw growth in that area, and hopefully uh, we can still use, utilize what we've experienced uh, the rest of the year. Yeah, you lost a lot of those early on, then you won three in a row. Did did was that sort of the maturing process? Yeah, exactly. I give you an example. We had a Situation NC State ball game, uh, same situation scenario. Malcolm Grant uh, play dribble entry, post feed to Reggie Johnson. He did not. He took the ball too deep. Uh, we didn't get a good shot uh, against Wake Forest. Same exact play. Get the ball to Reggie. Reggie gets fouled. Makes two free throws and win the game. So uh, we saw things like that happen throughout the year. You said you also learned from those mm -hmm. those close games mm -hmm. about yourself as a coach. Give, give us one or two things that you. I think you learned your personnel. You learned your personnel, who to have in the game, uh, from an execution standpoint. Um, uh, you get a better feel for uh, guys, uh, you know, ability to make plays, and, and, and you know, because I look at our team, you know, you know, our go-to guy. Who's our go-to guy? And I think we've got to, you know, when you look at it, you think we've got three guys. That are our go-to yeah. guys, and uh, so you, you continue to learn the team. You know, in those situations, I think that's for me personally, that's what I learned. Should you get by this first round? Um, and we, uh, ESPN, we had your game with North Carolina. What did you take away from that game that you would use on Friday? Um, Harrison Barnes going to shoot the last shot. <laughs> 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 um, now let's 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 stay with Virginia right now. So. What? How would you sum up the season? Um, sum it up. Let's see. Um, 